Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel, A Square Pillow Isn't Square. A place where you will learn anything and everything you wanted to know about home deck sewing. I was doing a bunch of cushions for a customer and I miscut my fabric. And I have to make 23 yards of bias welt out of a little 30 inch piece of fabric. Now as you know if you watch my video on bias strips, that you have to take the full width of the fabric and make these big long diagonal strips and it takes a bunch of fabric and I need 23 yards of welt at least. But fortunately, I know a little trick. So I'm going to show you how many yards of welt I can get out of this bias welt by the way, not straight welt, how many yards of bias welt I can get out of this 30 inch piece of fabric. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of fabric and we are going to fold it in half right sides together. And what we're going to do is sew the, the three sides that aren't on the fold, we're going to sew the other three sides together to make a closed square. So I'm going to go and sew around these three sides of the fabric be right back. Okay, I have sewn around the three cut edges. I'm just going to quickly trim the seam allowance down on this salvage edge so I don't have such a wide seam allowance. This is about a half, these are about half inch seam allowances that I've cut here. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is cut all four corners off. And this time, you are actually going to cut right across the stitching, like that. You're actually cutting off the corner and the stitching, which it go, goes against everything you normally would do, but that's what we're going to do on all four corners. On the folded one too. All four corners. Next step is we're going to fold this on the diagonal. And don't worry if this is not a perfect square, it completely doesn't matter. But we're going to fold it on the diagonal so that we have one of our uh, little cut corners here and we're going to just line it up with our other cut corner here and now what we're going to do is take our scissors and we're going to put our scissors in this little hole that you made by cutting off your corner but we're going to go in the middle we're only going to cut one layer of fabric here so I'm going to make sure this is lined up Make sure my scissors are inside, and I'm just going to use the, the fold here. I'm going to hold the fabric and pull the scissors towards me, and I'm going to use this fold as my cutting line. And I'm going to cut one layer of fabric like this. Your scissors will now pop out of, see, that other corner. So as you can see, I've only cut one layer. This layer is still folded. All right, once you've cut that, the next step is to take the opposite two corners and pick them up and stretch them out and shake. And it will form a rectangle. Now what you have is a bias rectangle It'll look like this on one side, and we're going to press our seam allowances open, and it'll look like this on the other side with two seams. So you're going to have, now you're going to have three folded edges and one cut edge, two seams on one side, one seam on the other side. Now this is a polyester indoor outdoor fabric, so it won't press real well, but I'm still going to do my best to press those seam allowances flat. Usually this 
presses really nicely, but as I said, not with this fabric. And I'm gonna line up my top edges and I'm gonna press the, all the folded edges. So now I have what is a flat bias rectangle. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is get a ruler and a pencil or a piece of chalk and from one folded edge, I'll start over here, you're going to measure in six inches from the fold and draw a line. And the other thing I think I'll do at this point is just maybe even out my top edge. I'm going to measure up from the fold. It's about 19 and a quarter inches on that end. And about 19 and a quarter inches on this end. I'm just going to square this up. trim this this one cut edge make it even next what we're going to be doing is making horizontal lines from this pencil line that we drew to the fold. Um, normally the easiest thing to do is just use a two inch ruler and make your bias strip lines that way. That's the quickest and easiest way. But my welt is going to be a little bit smaller and I'm so short on fabric I'm going to make my strips exactly the width that I need them which is one and three quarters inches. So I'm going to start, I have a really big ruler here, it's going to hit this piece of furniture um, I'll just start on the 20 here. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to make um, a mark every one and three quarter inches or whatever you need your strips to be. worked out exactly. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. That worked out good. And now I'm going to draw lines just to this um, line that we made six inches from the fold. So I'm going to go make my first line from this mark and I'm going to do that all the way down the fabric next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut from this edge right through the fold and we're going to cut along these lines and we're going to stop at this six inch line that we did like this.
Now, pick this up. <laughs> You're going to have something that looks like this. And, oh, got to cut the, the bottom fold. I forgot to cut it all the way across. Now you should have something that looks like this. And this was our fold, so our line was six inches on the fold, so we have about a 12 inch area here that's uncut. And here's the secret trick to make it um, continuous bias, is we're going to start at the very top here. And we're going to go down to this first cut. I'm going to make a line. Like this. And we're going to continue that diagonal. I'm going to go to this first line here, and I'm going to take it down to my second cut mark. I'm going to go to my third line and take it to my fourth cut mark, and so on, all the way down the fabric. And when you get to the very end, You're going to start at this next one and you're going to taper it all the way to, you can see my pencil line, all the way down to the bottom of the fabric, like this. And now you just carefully cut these lines starting at one end, making sure there's nothing underneath here that you're going to cut. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to cut there. And I think you see what's about to happen here. a ton of continuous stretchy bias strips and the only waste from that entire piece of fabric is this little taper on each end. I'll cut that off and I'm going to measure it and see how much I have. Twenty-five yards of continuous bias strip from 30 inches of fabric.
The one and only disadvantage to making your bias welt strips this way is that you're going to have a lot more seams than you normally would if you take a full width of fabric and make a full 45 degree diagonal cut to get your bias strips. So unless you're using a really thick fabric where these seams are going to be noticeable just from the change in thickness, or if you're making larger welt um, or using a fabric where the seams are really going to be visible, this is the absolute best way to get a lot of welt out of a small amount of fabric. Did you like this video? If you did, please hit that subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is clicked. That way, every time I post a new video, you'll get notified and you can see what I'm up to next. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.